And now for a battle against someone I like to call Pokemon Athletified or something like that. I don't exactly remember how he spelled it, but I'm pretty sure it was like that. So, this is another battle from Battle for Charity 3. I'm trying to get these out of the way. This is probably the last one I'm going to narrate for today. I'm not trying to rhyme, but whatever. Now then, Bronzong and Dragonite, I know I can live a Fire Blast, so I'm just going to reflect in case he wants to do something silly like look at himself, or me look at myself since I'm an Ancient Bell, and Ancient Bells go for some quite high value sometimes. Now I'm going to bring out my Jelly Scent, because once you pop the fun, don't stop! Because that is totally not relevant anymore since they don't actually use that pitch in their commercials anymore. You see, Pringles, guys, that was just like... I don't understand. They don't advertise anymore, but then again, I guess they don't really complain about that. He's going to bring out his Bronzong, and I'm going to miss my Will-O-Wisp, as is custom to do so in certain situations, if that's even proper. But, not matters, because proper English is for me, and I had to see myself in his light screen. It's a light screen, so a bell that is ancient such as himself can actually lift it. Now then, I'm going to surf, do nothing, he's going to reflect now, he's going to look back on his actions of him lifting up the light screen and being all proud of himself, look at him just shaking around in joy. Now I'm going to lose my reflect, for I am not the stone-carrying variety that will allow me to manage multiple spots of reflections and light screens. Now I'm going to fodder my ancient bell, since I'm fairly certain it's going to die this turn. And if it doesn't die this turn, it's going to die next turn, because Starmie is quite fast. And most reasons and aspects and other ratios, such as 16 by 9, which is what this video's ratio is, even though it's not technically 16 inches by 9 inches, but it doesn't matter, it's widescreen, it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to bring out my Try New Galade in five new flavors, including Ghost, Ice, Rock, and Fighting, and Psychic. Anywho... Going to Shadow Sneak in case he wanted to stay in with his Starmie, which he does not. And now I'm going to Ice Punch, just anticipating his moves. For I do not know what this Gliscor wants to do. I know most Gliscors only carry Earthquake and Ice Fang, so I figured I was more or less safe in this instance of battle. But he is going to do his thing of doing Toxic which is slightly an old set, I think. I can't exactly remember if Toxic is new school or old school, and the Gliscors doesn't really matter. This battle's over from a month ago. So, who knows what has changed in the metagame, besides the whole Excadrill and Thunderous ban that has recently happened, and people are super upset about for whatever reason, but whatever. That's the way they are about everything. Nobody likes change, even though it's for the better. Because, you know... Drizzle counters drought, and drought counters everything else. Actually, drizzle counters sand, apparently, because, you know, that's totally... If something that you need to have is equivalent to something else you need to have, then I wouldn't exactly call that countering. I would call that having to have that in order to not lose, or something. Who knows? My opinion does not matter. Going to close combat, the Bronzong switch in. I don't exactly remember what he had out, because I'm rambling off about stuff that's unimportant. I'm gonna die to Toxic now. And I do believe this is the beginning of the end. I'm going to go out to my Del Mundo. I still don't exactly know why I named that. I, somebody was thinking probably Queen of the World, but I don't know. Reina Del Mundo, but I don't know. He's going to Hydro Pump uh, as I'm going to go out to my Once You Pop. And since I'm not one of those people that likes to run Cursed Body, I do not run Cursed Body. For it does not always come in handy, but I guess it can come in handy in some cases. I get the Will-O-Wisp off on the Dragonite that switches in. He turns out to be a completely special variant. That or he is mixed. I haven't been able to tell exactly because he has not used any physical moves. But he's used all sorts of special moves. I'm going to finish him off with an Ice Beam now, hopefully. Yes, I do. He's not in multi-scale range, and even if he was, it probably still would have died from the fact that the burn would have taken him out of it. Out comes the Gengar now, because Gengar is still a good Pokemon to use, if you want to use it. You don't have to, but if you like to, you can. Although I think that's pretty obvious, as Gengar gains some leftovers from his leftovers. The leftover parts of his teammates that blood have shattered all over the place, and have been watching behind the sidelines of his substitute as I go for a surf to break his substitute so I can do some more stuff to 
try and come out of the predicament that I've put myself in of bringing six random pokes against people that are probably using real teams. Since that tends to be the case here, now I'm going to go out to Happy Halloween, which is my tribute to Tom's Happy Easter, and he's going to Shadow Ball me, hopefully trying to get the kill on Jelly Scent, but he doesn't because I switched, and that is obvious since you can see it that it had happened before. Now he's going to bring out his Starmie as I go for the Aqu Waterfall. Aquaterfall, you know, like Aquater Jet. And I don't kill it, for I am not strong enough, even with a choice band, even though I'm trying to succeed. Now I'm going to go back out to my Del Mundo, and probably going to die from the Psy Shock, since we all know that Nido Queen does not have the ability to take stab moves, especially when they are crits. Crit probably didn't matter, I'm not exactly certain. I'm going to bring out the finest Memo Swine. You can try some at your local bartender, hopefully, if you are of the age. If not, then you can try and pretend that you are of age and maybe get something out of it, but I do not remember. I go up to my banded mammoth swine, if I'm not mistaken, I have two banded pokes on this team, which does not help me in the end, for he goes up to a cloister now, and this is literally the beginning of the end. For he has the stupid cell smashing things, and since this isn't a real team, I'm not going to be able to defeat his cloister. Because having a real team is for people who are better than me when it comes to battling people on Battle for Charity, because I didn't actually expect too many people to be battling super serious, but it doesn't really matter, it's just a game. And I do not care about losing, since I learn more from losing than I do from winning. Because if I'm losing, then I know I'm not, what I'm doing isn't working. Anyways, the finest Memo's wine is now chilled to proper temperature for people to be able to enjoy it. And now I bring out my once you pop the fun, don't stop, because we all know that wine and cheese is totally overrated, so you should have wine and Pringles. His rocks throwing is going to be able to take me out, since he has skill link, he's going to hit five times, even though 90 accuracy would say that he shouldn't hit every single move he does. He's going to finish me off with another rock blast, and he's going to obviously hit, for if it was me, I probably would have missed every single one. And that is the match. So I hope you guys enjoyed me getting destroyed by a cloister, and I guess I'm going to go run off and watch some anime now. And since that obviously makes me a weeaboo, since you can't just happen to like something in the world, you have to be super fan of it, you have to be part of the counterculture for it, and everything else. Since we all know that that makes me the most gigantic weeaboo in the world, because god forbid I like something, why am I ranting at the end of every single video I've narrated today? Who knows? This is not important. I might narrate more later, so that'd be a lie. Anyways, I will see you guys in a later date. More or less. That's not the right button. This is.